Hey everyone, Davey Davey here with another gameplay video. Today I'm taking a look at International Track and Field on the PlayStation 1. Now already that's a bit of a problem with the controls because I want that to be square and X. Like so, because I'm in darkness so I want the buttons to be close to each other and this circle can be my jump. Yeah, hello. And we'll just go start. Splendid. Now, while I enter my name, I want to point out that I'm playing, I'm playing this on a PS3 because it's just easier to record footage of these games because one, my PS one's broken, two, CRT, CRT TVs do not run well when I can't is pointing towards them. So this is just easier to do to play on a PS3 and hooked up to an LCD TV. Five will be Korea. They asked me to be Korea, so I will. If you don't like the fact that I'm Korea, blame them. Okay, you'll you also see that a couple of times the colors will get a bit too bright. I'm sorry about that too. It's just my camcorder doesn't like bright patches of the screen. It just renders it too too bright. Um, I have configured the television. I haven't prepared for this one, have I? Again. Anyway. 100 meter sprint, whoops, long jump, shot putt, 100 meter freestyle, which is swimming, 110 meter hurdles, high jump, hammer, triple jump, javelin, pole vault, and discus. Well, of course, we start off with 100 meter sprint, or 100 meter dash, or 100 meters, or run for your life, or whatever you want to call it. This is, of course, a decathlon style game. It's a reboot of the track and field series. Now, I'm standing up and I'm in darkness. This controller's resting on my leg. Yeah, go. You'll probably be hearing the button smashing more than me. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. I have done under nine seconds before. Oh. But this game I bought, I actually bought this in a shop where I used to work. It's a new record. Yeah, I was waiting for you. Uh. Um, for, so, for whatever reason, we started to sell PS1 games. Uh, it didn't last long, but in that brief tenure, we um, were selling PS1 games. And I um, saw this game for £10, and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. And well, it was ten pounds well spent. Hooray! Long jump is the next event. I mean, this is just one of those games that I always find myself going back to from time to time. First attempt. It's just really good fun. It's good to play with, with friends. In this case, I, I play with my wife from time to time. And we compete against each other for world records. Oh, long jump is a bit of a weakness. It's not so much the running, it's the timing of the jumps. Right, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I think I know. Yeah. Wow. Well, I nearly got a record, but I think I jumped a bit far, further away than I should have, but hey, I just wanted the valid score. I've got one. So now we will attack the board. Come on. Oh, and when I do, look. Never mind. I think we've won this one anyway. Yep, I have. Oh dear. Tom 3. In the red, which means he didn't qualify. Even though he's not eliminated, he will remain throughout Australia, USA, and Cuba. Or the other players. And yeah, already we have a master lead, and that's something to get used to. 
dare you interrupt me. Teapot. Yeah, a little bit of corruption there, and that's because I'm playing this on a PS3. So, yeah. Number one in the world. First attempt. Right. Oh, it's a foul. Oh no. That's a bad start. Second attempt. Oh well, he's still qualified. I think it's because I'm standing up. Don't normally play this game standing up. That was another foul. Wow, that was a bad performance. Yeah, that was a very, very bad performance. But then again, I'm standing up and I'm in darkness, or at least that's my excuse. And the reason why it's in darkness is because it stops the light reflecting off the uh, the TV screen. Yeah, see I do do the preparation after all. Barely, but I do. We still won though. Yeah. Over 9,000 points ahead. Even if it was a bit of a shitty performance, I still win. Nah. On the meter freestyle, which is swimming. I mean, even if the problem is you're crushing the AI, even if I was to up the difficulty, I probably will still crush the opposition because I think changing the difficulty only. I don't know if I've ever got under 50 seconds before. I'm sure it's possible. I actually should have loaded this on the uh, memory card that, or the internal memory card we have for our world records, but of course I didn't. So yeah, it's a miles ahead. As I said, or I was trying to say earlier, I think changing the difficulty only changes the qualification criteria. Like that, the qualification criteria here was a minute and five seconds. On hard difficulty, it's probably under a minute. She's happy. She's very happy. 110 meter hurdles. Right, I'm gonna go out and say it. This is one of my specialty events. Yeah. I am talking myself into a disaster, aren't I? Here I am giving myself the big build up. You know, this is one of my specialty events. And I'm gonna choke, aren't I? Because I'm standing, because I'm in darkness, I'm really gonna choke in this one, aren't I? Uh, Set. Here we go. Yep, told you, told you. Oh, well, I'm still leading. I still won. I still broke a world record. Yeah, but well, that definitely was not my best run. It is tricky playing it while standing. You're used to it sitting down. It, it is still resting on my leg, it's but a new record. in more of a vertical position rather than uh, horizontal. But hey, look, I still won every event. Hooray! Can I go perfect? No, I don't think so because high jump is a weakness. Uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, that, there actually isn't enough, a lot to this game, actually. What you see is the game. That's virtually it. There's no tournament. You don't unlock anything. Once you do these events, that's it. 
two minutes will do. Two minutes? Two meters. Uh, I always smash his face off the bar. Two minutes. Excuse me, I have a cold. Right, tell you what, we'll go two minutes. In two minutes. I did it again. Two meters and ten. Oh, he didn't even jump. I told you high jump was a weakness. I told you, and I was right. So we're not winning this one. Will I even get a valid score? For goodness sake. Nope. Ah, oh, crikey. Didn't even get a valid score. Well, I told you high jump was a weakness and well, I was right. Because look, no record, a big fat zero. What does that mean? Does that mean I can continue? Yeah, only practice is something I don't do. Yeah, continue, please. Don't tell me what to do the high jump again. We do. Who will be number one in the world? First attempt. Yes, yeah, so let's just go one meter eighty-five. Solid. Right, come on. No! I told you I said high jump was a weakness. Hooray! At last! Yeah, we'll be a cocky little bastard and go two meters. And uh, 50, uh, 96 minutes again. Uh, let's come on. Yes, no! He smacked it off the back of his head. But hey, at least we qualified. That's the main thing. At least we qualified. At least now we can continue. And I wasn't last. Yeah. See, we're still gonna win. Oh, with, with different countries now, with Great Britain, Germany, and France. Congratulations, you are the winner. No, I'm pretty certain I was second. I think he means of the human players if you were doing multiplayer, then you're the top one, but uh, no. If the computer is one and you play a two player and you were the highest, then you win. But of course there's only one of these, so it makes no sense. So Hammer! But despite being limited in what it does, it's actually a really, really good game. This is actually one of my favourite, um... He has one game, there's a new record. I think it's either this or the javelin throw. One of us, and I think it may be my wife, that has thrown it over 100 meters. Might be the javelin actually. I'm not sure if you can even throw it over 100 meters. Well. Yeah, see the way to qualify is 65 meters. On hard difficulty, that may be 75 meters, 80 meters. That's the only thing that changes the qualification criteria. Maybe a foul. Yep. Look at that. Uh, that would have been over 90 meters, but nope. He fouled it. Correct. It's a new record. Hooray! Miles in front. I mean, I'm a sucker for these type of games, these Olympic style games. I have so many of them in my collection. This, 
ESPN Checkerfield and PS2, Athens on the PS2, London 2012 on the 360, yeah, the 360, uh, Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games on the Wii. Again, I think I may have jumped a bit further away from the board, but I just want a valid score. So. Oh. Don't even know why I did that, the iron I don't even know why. I guess it's just natural, you're gonna do it. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Oh, up you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Most likely, I still won though. Most likely. Yup. He still wins. 10.10 Wow Hate to say it, but that's a, that's a bit crap Again The Javelin is the next event Right then yeah, 95.66, so now I'm convinced it's the Javelin. Now I'm convinced. Right. The Javelin is a little bit of a weakness, because it's a bit of a tricky one. You have to run. You have to put this... Yeah, I haven't done it right. But you have to even do the acceleration. Yeah. May I? Thank you. You even have to do the running while the Javelin is in the air, or at least that's what we discovered. I think that's us now. Yep. about work on a win overall, no question. Paul Vault, my nemesis, never liked the Paul Vault in any game. Yeah. Pretty much every single one of these games, Paul Vault was my weakness. Uh, what shall we do? Hey, we'll, we'll go five, shall we? There you go. Although I'm going to say this is a little bit simpler. Second attempt. I think. 540 will. 540 will. Yes. Got it over. Third attempt. Right. Oh, hello. What should I do? Yeah, I'll go 595. Well, that was different. Come on. No, nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. Pushed it a bit too far, I think. Don't think we've won this one. I'd be very surprised if we've won this one. <sighs> yeah, well, there you go. I did. I did win it. Come on, lads. Put some effort into it. 
Right, I think this is the last event. Yeah. Discus. Final event. And unfortunately, that's your game. That's all there is to it with this game. There isn't a lot in it. But it's still a very enjoyable game. It's definitely one of those games that... It serves as a time filler. You know, you've got spare time in your hands. And you need something to do. Yeah, this game ought to do it. Oh. Nowhere near it. Second attempt. I think that's all right. Yep. And it's a new world record. Third attempt. There you go. Another record for KDV. And I think that's another foul. I will put this controller down. Nope. It's not a foul. It's valid. I no longer need a controller. So there it is. International Track and Field on the PlayStation 1. There isn't a lot to this game really. I mean, once what you see here is practically the game. To my knowledge, you don't unlock anything. Um, it's a new record. You just compete for world records against your friend on a safe memory card, and then you can do certain things to unlock Easter eggs, like I done with the space shuttle, as an example, flying over the uh, pole vault. Those sort of novelty things, but it's still a fun game, especially playing with multiplayer. Like my wife and I have. May I? Thank you. My wife and I have so much fun playing this game, so we do. My nephew challenged her tonight and this year. Now that I've got this out for a gameplay video. And so it's time for the closing ceremony. Eventually. Oh, here we go. Why the suspense? We know already. Hooray! Congratulations! You success! Winner is you and every other English phrase you can think of. So there it is! I am the champion of the world and I'm off to celebrate. Thanks for watching and see you soon with more videos.